Hello, Jan here from Into the Woods and um, I'm in my garden. It's a fine May day. I've been into town and been to the market and got some lovely plants that I'm just about to put out in the garden. Um, I got some nice courgette plants and I wanted to talk about another of the principles that I use when I'm gardening and that is the principle of um, soil shaping. So I tend to shape the soil according to the plant. Some plants I will put in a trough because they like to be moister. Some plants I will put higher on a little mound because they really hate to be sitting in moisture. Um, the courgette plants are a kind of a, they're tricky customers in that they like lots of, um, they like lots of water, they need lots of water to flourish and yet they really resent being st sitting in water. So the system that I've developed for courgettes, which works for me, is to make a mound. So I've made these mounds. Um, the, the scent is like a volcano. <laughs> the center of the mound is some manure that's been rotting for about in a pile for about a year. It's beautiful stuff. So I may I took a bucket full, made like a sandcastle of it here, and now I've covered it in some very rich soil which I found at the bottom of the compost heap. So now I've got this volcano which has got all the riches, the nutrition deep inside. It's about a foot high, it's a yeah, good 10 inches anyway, above the ground. However, if I put my courgette plant into the very peak of the volcano, when I water it, all the water will run away and be lost to the plant. So what I'm going to do now is shape the mound so that there is a... Um, it looks like an old volcano that's well weathered and has really blown. So it's got an edge which will hold the water and I can plant the courgette in the middle. I can water it, it will, it will, all the water will stay there and then it will sink through and stay where the plant's roots are. I'll show you in a minute. Um, I've just placed this soil here and I'm quite fascinated in how much life there is in this soil. This has been sitting at the bottom of the compost heap, as I said, for about a year. It is absolutely full of creatures, and they're just the ones that I can see with my naked eye. There are wood lice, there are centipedes, there are millipedes, there are little red mite spider things. There are, it's just incredible. The whole thing is moving <laughs> with life. And as I say, that's just the stuff that I can see with my naked eye. It blows my mind when I think about all the stuff I can't see. The microbes, um, the fungi, it's the little tiny nematodes, the little teeny weeny weeny creatures which you need a microscope to see. This stuff is black gold. Wonderful. So, I'm going to... Um, make my volcano now. I'm just going to open out the top here. I want a shape where the, the plant is actually sitting above solid ground so that if we do have a lot of rain and the ground is moist it's never actually sitting in it and yet we can water by making this little wall all the way around. I don't think you can see this, can you? Let's just tilt this up a little bit. By making this wall all the way around, I can water the plants. I can put a good half bucket of water in there and it won't spill away over the edges. I'll show you in a moment. So now the plants are in. Um, I'm going to give them a thorough watering and I'm going to see if the walls get breached at all. And here the water's starting to trickle down the side so I just build it up a little more on that side. I make sure that the, the volcano can hold, oh I don't know, lots, <laughs> lots of water. Um, a third of a 
a third of a watering can full. And once I'm content that this is going to do a good job and hold the water, then I'm going to cover it with hay. So now they're all tucked up cosy with their clippings. Um, I put a stick in, a tall stick beside the plant because in a few weeks this is going to be like a foot deep in foliage and I won't be able to tell where the volcanoes are. So I put the stick in and then I know where to place the water. That one's awaiting its mulch. You'll see that some of this mulch is kind of a bright, vivid green. This is mulch that's been sitting underneath at the bottom of the pile as it dries and it's kind of composted, it's sort of fermented so it's turned to silage. That's absolutely fine as long as it's dry it's okay. And um, in another video quest for herb teas I asked for suggestions for herb teas and someone made the brilliant suggestion of fennel tea. So I've just been and bought a little fennel plant and put that in the middle and that's going to rise up from the middle and I think they're going to work together beautifully.